Gorgeous Taurus, let's take a look at your cards for the week ahead. Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Taurus. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Not all of the messages will resonate for you and that's okay. Just take what fits your situation and be open to messages that may come through and what you feel intuitively throughout the reading because quite often spirit will speak to you through your intuition and what you see on the cards. You may see an image on one of the cards or the message on one of the cards may really resonate for you right now. And that's a message from spirit giving guidance, instruction, perhaps. So take notice of those things. Guidance and messages for Taurus, please. Spirit, guidance and messages for Taurus. Let's take a look at your first card. We have the nine of feathers. Perspective and self-empowerment are the key words here. I see there's an element of being prickly to a situation. I'm seeing that there is a defensive mechanism that is up right now around you, Taurus, and that still may need to be up during the week. Now, whatever is making you feel defensive and have your guard up, Spirit is saying with this card that it's important that you not only look at things from your own point of view, but there may be a perspective shift that takes place or that you are able to access. There is also an element of self-empowerment here. So it looks like you're able to make some kind of change. You're able to make some kind of move, some kind of shift. So perhaps you don't have to be in the this environment where you have your shield up or your guard up all the time because that can be exhausting. And so I'm seeing that there is an opportunity this week for you to be able to shift perspectives and maybe even shift out of an energy or a situation where you have been feeling very defensive and there may be a, a draining energy that's been happening around you, that's been draining your energy. We have the card of destiny. Acknowledge your mission. Align with your purpose. You have gifts to share with the world. This week is all about finding these gifts. And if you are aware of what your own gifts are, then this is amazing. And you're going to be putting them into practice. You're going to be using your gifts. You're going to be implementing your gifts. You're going to find ways to bring them into your day-to-day -day life. You do have a mission. You do have a purpose. And you do have a destiny. And it may not be what you are currently thinking that it is either. So it may be helpful for you to go within and to seek that out through quietness, meditation and prayer. So you have gifts and you're going to be sharing them with the world. That may also be coming up for you if you know what your gifts are and you're looking at how to share them with others. This card is indicating that you'll get the opportunity to do that and plans will unfold the way that you want. We have the card of attachment, letting go of restriction and fear. You may need to let go of a situation, a person, a place, your past. Letting go and being in the flow is really important this week, Taurus. There may be some kind of restriction and fear that you are finding that you feel and it may be situational. It could be in your workplace, for example, or it may be in your home life. And I feel that it's tied in here with the nine of feathers, a change in perspective might just give you the opportunity or open up the, the door for you to make some changes of self-empowerment here if you're needing to let go. 
um, and to move out of a situation where these energies are running rampant, restriction and fear. And in, you'll know if that resonates. You'll know if you're in a situation or you, you're feeling this way about something where there is fear, you're holding on to that or there's restriction, you're not able to be yourself. Something could be ultimately blocking your destiny here. And I'm seeing that there is a shift that's going to be made to bring you into alignment with your true mission. Morrigan's blessing of peace after battle. So this is a really comforting card because Spirit is saying here that if you've been through a battle, if you've been through some trauma, some traumatic or difficult, challenging situation, there is peace that comes after this battle that you have just fought. So you'll know if that resonates for you. You'll know if you are, if you've just been through a battle, whatever that is for you, you're going to know about it. And Spirit is saying that there is going to be peace that comes over you, your heart and your mind. You're going to have peace. And it is tied in here with the destiny card. So because you are now over this battle or you're over, uh, you've overcome a challenge, you're now able to move into your true destiny. You're now able to move forward into what is truly right for you. So ultimately that is very empowerment, um, very empowering. The Seven of Wands. Yes, this is you overcoming negativity, overcoming negative energy or arrows being thrown at you. You have your sword, your shield, your protective mechanism. Spiritual protection is around you. Um, and I'm also seeing that you're putting into place changes you're putting into place changes that are necessary and you know this is going to ultimately bring you a lot of happiness because you're going to be moving away from what no what no longer serves you and whatever situation is this where you're putting up your your spines your prickly with someone or, or a situation uh, you're aware of this you know and whatever this is you're going to be moving away from that you're going to be changing your your goals and you may have recently overcome something very challenging with this um, peace after battle card here but it's so you can now move into your true purpose or your uh, alignment so you you can have that peace we have the devil energy so this is Capricorn's card so you may have a Capricorn around you there is a connection here between the devil Someone's treated you poorly. You've been in an entrapped situation. You're letting go of that. You're realizing what it is. And now you're letting go of that. And there is now peace after the battle. So I do think that this is confirming to you, Taurus, that you are moving in the right direction and that you're making the changes that need to be made to bring through this energy of peace. The King of Swords. So um, I'm seeing that you are actually... This is a very, this is a warrior type card here. So if you need to slay the enemy, if you need to put up your defenses, you need to say what you need to say, and you need to then be powerful in your moves and your action, that's exactly what you're going to be doing this week. King of Swords is an air sign, which may also be around you. Let's take a look at this top card. We have the Nine of Cups. And this is peace and harmony and ease. Your wish is ultimately coming true here. Um, so this is very a very big change and a very big shift from what you've been through recently or what you're going through right now. This means that what you are ultimately hoping for is going to come through into manifestation. This is tying into and touching on destiny. So it looks like there is a shift that's happening here. This is about freedom as well. You don't have to have your spines up. You don't have to have that prickliness because you're removing uh, or moving away from what no longer serves you or you're moving away from a person, a place or situation which is causing that. And so you now have freedom here and you're a lot calmer and there's an energy of peace and there's wishes being fulfilled and this is part of your destiny. We have the lovers. This is Gemini's card. So you may have a Gemini that is around you or significant in some way in your life. The lovers indicates that 
you're going to be come close together and be connected to what is right for you ultimately. No ifs, buts or maybes about it. You're going to be connected with someone or a situation that is truly right for you. And this is your destiny. This is what is. What spirit wants for you and what is your destiny. And it comes after the the battle, the peace, the um, the peace comes after the battle. And that's what I'm seeing here with the lovers. There's a connection or a reconnection happening here, which may be between you and another person, whether it's a lover or not. And this can also represent you becoming closer to your spiritual self, which is very profound and very important in a spiritual sense, of course. So I'm seeing that you're ultimately breaking free from any kind of manipulation, attachment, negative codependency, whatever this devil is for you or whoever this is for you, you are empowered this week to look at the situation in a, in a bold way, in a brave way, and usher in this peace, usher in this harmony and usher in this destiny that is what spirit wants for you. And that's what I see coming through. Now, we all have free will, of course, so this is something that you're going to have to have intention toward. It's not just going to land in your lap, but it's here. It's laid out in the cards. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and I'll talk to you all again soon.